Katisha, you and I know each other. I mean, we, we work together, uh, you on the business intelligence team working with the critical care group. I never thought I'd be sitting across from you talking to you as a patient. Did, did you ever think that was gonna happen? I never thought I would be on this side. That is a definite. Tell us what happened to you. How did this start? I came into work and I had a little tickle in my throat and there was a flu bug going around at the time. I just thought maybe I caught the flu, but as the day went on, my cough got worse, my breathing was deteriorating rapidly, and by 7 o'clock that same day, I knew I was in trouble. So I drove myself to the emergency room at Banner Desert. You arrived at the emergency department, and the team there starts working you up, right? Everybody was focused basically on my respirations, okay. the fact that I wasn't breathing very well. Shortly after you were admitted to the hospital, you wound up in the intensive care unit. What did you learn after that transfer to ICU? I'm still thinking, even going to ICU, this is just basically a very severe asthma attack, but I was getting indication, of course, something is, is terribly wrong. When was the first point that you finally learned that what you had was sepsis? The ICU nurse asked me did you know you had a UTI, which is a urinary tract infection? I luckily had my laptop. I was working on a project for business intelligence and I couldn't breathe, but I was able to type out, no, what are you talking about? And then the ICU nurse handed me a brochure explaining about sepsis, severe sepsis, and septic shock. And then it dawned on me oh my gosh, this is one of our projects. I'm not supposed to be doing first-hand knowledge, <laughs> but uh, one for the team, I suppose. But um, it really hit home then, Dr. Groves, that I was, I was in pretty bad shape. Well, Katisha, did you ever imagine that the work that you and your colleagues were doing on uh, business intelligence would ever impact you so personally? <laughs> Without a doubt, I would not be here that definitely saved my life because I had an explanation for everything that was going on that could have been a UTI. And again, my focus was on having a severe asthma attack. So if there was not something in place to say these factors could be related to sepsis, I really don't think I could have held on until they found out what else was wrong with me. Katisha, we sincerely appreciate your dedication to Banner, bringing your laptop into the ICU, doing your personal investigation, I guess an audit of our sepsis process. Let me assure you, you don't need to do that for our benefit, and we're glad to have you back working on business intelligence for Banner. Thank you, Dr. Groves. I guarantee you I will stay on my side <laughs> of this in future. That's a definite. Excellent.